Hi there, in this video, we're solving question 12 Mathematics 2 of 2020 GCE. This is a question on functions, which are a very simple topic. When you have such a question, be sure to get everything on it. In part A of this question, we've been asked to find the inverse of f of x. How we know that we're finding the inverse is because of this small negative here. That is added to the equation. When we want to find the inverse, the first thing we do is we look at this function. Okay, so we're going to have the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. Where we have the f of x, we're going to replace it with a y. So it will be written like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to swap x and y. This is a very important step because we want to find the inverse. So we swap like this and we have a new expression here. The equation changes totally now as you can see. We were where we had y, we have put x. Where we had an x, we have put a y. Now at this stage what we're going to do is make y the subject of the formula once again so we're going to get rid of everything that is with y we can get rid of this negative 5 by adding negative 5 on both sides or simply thinking of it like we're crossing over this negative 5 to the other side of the equal sign therefore we're going to have x plus 5 when it crosses it changes the sign then we're going to have a 2y if we make y the subject here what it means is we're going to divide both sides by 2 Therefore, y can be equal to over 2. Now, this new expression we have found is the inverse of the earlier function. So we're going to just write this using this notation and make it equal to what we have just found. This is how we find the inverse of a function. So the first thing is you replace that f of x with a y, you interchange them, and then you solve for y. And after you have solved for y, the new expression you get is the inverse. Now let's look at question b. In question b, we've been asked to find the value of this composite function. Before we can find the value of this function, we need to be able to know what f of f of inverse of x is equal to. How do we know that? Well, it won't be a very difficult procedure. What we're just going to do is plug in the inverse of x into the function of f of x. We have already found this function here. So we're just going to get this here and plug it into f of x, which means this here f of f of inverse of x is going to be equal to 2 f of inverse f inverse of x, which is x plus 5 divided by 2. And then we are going to subtract the 5. As you can see, the general structure of this expression here is this one here, 2x minus 5. And then while we had x, we're substituting the function f inverse of x. Now, we're going to just simplify this so that we find the expression that this is equal to. Therefore, what we can see here is this 2 and this 2 can cancel out. So it's just like we have x plus 5 minus 5. Here we can see just gives us a zero, which will make this function just equal to x. And now when we plug in the value there, you can see that our value of this function is just going to be 2. Now let's look at part C where we are asked to find the value of x if f f of x is equal to x 
we're going to do that on another space here okay so we're now answering part c so they're telling us to find the value of x if the function f f of x is equal to x so whenever we have anything where we are asked to evaluate like here and where we are asked to find the value of x in this case what we first do is we need to define this function here again what this means is we're going to plug in fx into f of x just like that this means f f of x is going to be equal to 2 we get this same function here which has already been given to x minus 5 we plug it in where we had the x and continue writing our function as you can see here if we work out these two will be multiplied by each of these terms inside here 2 multiplied by 2x is going to be 4 4 x 2 multiplied by that is going to give us minus 10 and minus 5 that was outside already therefore 4x minus 10 is minus 10 minus 5 can be simplified to that so now we have the function that is represented by f f of x what we're going to do is equate this function f x minus 15 to x and then find the value of x that's that won't be very difficult to be just getting an x including it in the equation and solving for x as you can see here, we can take this x over to this side of the equal sign. It will become minus. So we're going to have 3x. We bring this negative 15 over to this side. to be 15 like that. 4x minus x. If we simplify here, it's a very simple expression. We're going to have 3x. And now we need to get rid of this 3 so that we just find the value of x the 3 and 3 there cancel so I left with x then you just need to find 15 divided by 3 and you can agree with me that is going to be 5 so we have found the value of x which is 5 here we have found the value of f f inverse of x which is 2 we have found the inverse of the function fx. This is how you can handle any question that's involving inverses, evaluation like that here, and finding the value of a function. In B, we're just simply finding the image of this two. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. Watch out for more videos that will be helping you solve exam questions.